Today we will study about particle properties. That's the general term. So when you have a particle that is suspended in a fluid, which can be in air or a liquid, the properties are related to the aerodynamic properties and the liquid means typically we call it as a hydrodynamic properties. So the principles are one and the same but in the lab you are going to measure the aerodynamics properties of the biological material. Why is it important? In many occasions the fluids interact with the particles. For example, air is used as a carrier to transport like the seeds and different particles. A lot of times the fruits and vegetables like if you go to a tomato processing plant, the way the tomato is transported from one equipment to another equipment, they will suspend it in the water and then water is used as a carrier to transport it. So the fluid is interacting with the particles and uh, the properties that are important are called as the pro particle properties. So to begin with let's understand what the terminal velocity is. Uh, it's a property of a biological material. Okay. So when an object freely falls, at some point the gravitational force acting on it will becomes equal to the drag or the resistive force. When Fg equal to Fd, that means net force acting on the body is zero. F is equal to ma which is equal to zero. A is equal to zero that means the velocity is constant because acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity. Uh, therefore, this constant velocity when the object reaches the maximum constant velocity, that constant velocity is known as the terminal velocity. So, the fluid flow around the immersed object examples are the sedimentation. So, when you have the soil particles settling in a lake, the particle that is the settling of the particles in the water. Or when you have like let's say like a grain bin, you are blowing the air through it. Or uh, let's say you have, uh, uh, when you go to the Kellogg's, before they make the cereal, they make the dough and the dough particles have to be dried before they extrude it. So the dough balls, it's very hard to dry because each particle is sticking to each other. So what they do is they blow the air from the bottom and they keep them suspended all the time and then they can dry them more uniformly. So these are all the examples of fluid flow around the immersed object. So the key thing for you to understand is that in any particle dynamics, so you have two forces acting on it. One is a pressure force that makes the particle to move. The another is a frictional force that slows it down, right? And the particles are free to orient themselves so that it can try to minimize one or the other. 